Ladies and gentlemen, that's a bad day called It's Party Time. I hope you guys can hear me, of course. It's party time. It's finally party time. We've waited such a while for this announcement or this news to come out. It looks like it's going to be party time. I know. I, I've told you guys in the streams before, it's so obvious. It's so obvious, and they definitely know we need midfielders. They don't. It, it's not rocket science. They definitely know we need midfielders. And um, early on, I told you guys about this news. The news early on was um, from... Um, David Onestine, and he had said that um, Arsenal make late move to sign Thomas Partey from Atletico Madrid, contacted 27-year-old camp and expressing intention to pay clause. That's the 45 million release clause, um, making all necessary arrangements, medical in Spain, not even in England. So it, um, it makes things easier. Remember, people are going out for international breaks right now. So I think... The medicals have to be done where the players are, plus the traveling right now with like six, seven hours remaining would be impossible. So it looks like Thomas party could be a done deal. I was just doing uh saying in the other video how happy I was, man. I'm buzzing and uh, I was actually expecting us to get a player. We are selling players and there's no way we cannot replace them. It's just not possible. If we don't replace these players, we know how much trouble you're going to be in. So I think um, this is some good news you're hearing. This is some good news you're hearing. Very, very good news. It could be time for Thomas Partey. Five people in the chat already. Thank you. Uh, the latest news is on Thomas Partey. And this was the latest tweet. It said, Thomas Partey, Arsenal have been pursuing him since 2018, man. Two years to get a player. It's just like like I said, we took like five years to get him. Five years, two years since we started. Oh, well, top target this window, the war. So he was the top target to the war, but it looks like our is not joining. So I think we've basically been forced to go for Thomas Party. Forced, like they had no other choice but to go for Thomas Party. They had no other choice but to go for Thomas Party. I hope you guys can hear me, by the way. And uh, he also says Atletico demanded close, so Arsenal considered Jorginho. I told you guys, it looks like we can't even get Jorginho. That shows you something. We can't even get Jorginho. It looks like we can't even get Jorginho from Chelsea, which is a good thing for us. But mm, does it, the, what does it really show? We can't even attract Jorginho. It's sad. Our ended plus Jorginho never likely saw a new party contract, contact over weekend. Accelerated this morning. So it looks like we are serious on Thomas' party this time round. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Let me know in the chat. How do you guys feel about that? It looks like it's going to finally be party time it's finally going to be party time we've been crying out for a ball playing midfielder box to box midfielder and it looks like thomas party could be joining us very soon targeted him for two years and finally looks like we're going to do it in the last minute this reminds me of the of the days back then when we used to back in school when you were opening school the next day and you're like oh my goodness me i have not finished my assignments man I have not finished my assignments and it's only seven hours remaining. That seems the same way these guys do their business, like the way you used to do back in school, in primary school. Like, wow, the transfer window is closing in four hours and we don't have players. We need to go out and get players. That's the same way we used to do back in school. Assignments are due tomorrow. After being given like three months to get it done, you're like, tomorrow assignments are actually needed. We need to get it done. So you start, that's the same Arsenal is doing, the same way Arsenal is doing their business right now. Um, Barnabas says, Glenn, hi, man. How are you, Barnabas? Um, how are you doing? I can hear you. Awesome. Also, if you didn't realize you are live, yeah, I'm doing a lot. I'm doing a lot. Hi, brother. I'm here. Can I send you on? Um, I can't even send you on Instagram. Let me, you want me to post the link? Let me know. Um, so it's looking like Thomas Party will join us. Better late than never. We definitely do need midfielders either way. So it looks like he's going to be joining us. What will Thomas Party bring to Arsenal? Now, I've done like three videos on Thomas Party. One of them was talking about how Arsenal could line, line up with Thomas Party. All of a sudden, if just if only him, if he is the only one to join us, it will change the way we play. 
already because um, we've been forced to play the back five because we don't have solid midfielders. So you can imagine if it's a back four with Tierney and Bellerin and uh, Gabriel and Luis there. And then in front of them, even if you're playing a 4-3-3, you have Chaka, Pate and Sabayos. If you're playing against a low-level team, you could have Sabayos and Pate and Chaka on the bench. And then in front of them, William, Pepe, Martinelli to come back, Lacazette, Ozil to come back maybe. Aubameyang, so all of a sudden it's looking good. All of a sudden it's looking good. Um, okay, let me send you the links in, and uh, I'll just post it in the in the chat right now. It's looking very good. It's looking. It's it's finally some good news. Some good news. There it is. There it is. There it is. There's a link. So, could we finally be seeing this happening? Could we finally be seeing this happening? Can we finally see? Thomas Pate in an Arsenal. Look how good he looks already. Look how good he looks already. Thomas Pate to Arsenal. Even the name just literally like suits Arsenal. Granite Shark and Thomas Pate. Why did we take so long to get him? Why did we take... This would literally change the, the dimension of our midfield, literally. Like, we needed someone new to join our team. There's no way we could have gone the rest of the season with only Shaka, Sabayas, and El Neni. No way so... It looks like Thomas Partey could be on his way. His medical will be done in Spain, not England, so it makes things a bit easy. That is him. That is um that is him in an Arsenal shirt. He could be the, it, it's not official, but uh, that could be him in an Arsenal shirt. So that would be that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Um, let me see if we have nearly agreed personal terms. Let's get it done by 8 p.m. Tell Atletico we've bought him and announce him. Get it done. Uh, you don't know Arsenal won't do things that quickly. You do know that, right? Arsenal will not do things that quickly. It is going to be go to the last two minutes. It's going to go to the last two minutes, and then you'll hear, you know what, Arsenal and all that, yeah. Um, let me get him on. Um, turn on your mic, Sina. Uh, sell Torewa for 20 million, Atletico bring in. Do things that quickly. It is going to be. Hi, man. Uh, Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, sell Torewa for 20 million Atletico bringing. There's an egg on your side, so if you get like earphones or something. Um, as, as as we wait for him, things are looking things are looking very good. If you could get some earphones seen and then I'll bring you on. Why the hell did I take my headphones anyway? Um, I hope you guys can still hear me. I hope you guys can still hear me. It's looking pretty good for as of now. It's looking pretty good as of now. Okay, I'm back. I hope you guys can still hear me. I'm back. As I was saying, things are looking good. All of a sudden, things are looking good. I hope you guys can hear me. I hope you guys can hear me. So that is the latest news from David Onstein. He says we've been linked to this player for two years. Two years. Two years, man. Two years. Um, sell Torreira. Let me see. Sell Torreira for 20 million to Atletico. Mm, we're not getting 20 million for Torreira. That's the problem. Our players are not worth that much, unfortunately. Our players are not worth that much, man. Torero, maybe 15 million is the most you can get for him, unless they really want him that bad. If we get him and sell Torero, then we have Sabayos, Shaka, Pate, and Elneny. Have Willen and Ozil in attacking midfield. Ozil is also still an Arsenal player. <sighs> Ozil, Ozil. I've, I think we've been talking about Ozil for two years. It's become too much. If we, uh, So that's what you hear. So... Party, is it the only business we're going to do? Do you think getting party will be enough? Just party, will it be enough? I'm not sure, but will it bring something to Arsenal? Definitely, especially the box to box midfield. I've seen him score some really good goals for Atletico. Plus, he can also help in defensive midfield, he can fit in any formation. We can, uh, Babu. Oh, thank you very much. Um, thanks for being here. What do you guys think about um, 
What do you guys think about uh, the party signing? There you go, Sinan. There it is. The, what do you think about the party signing? We could finally see him in an Arsenal shirt after so many months, literally two years. We've been linked to him for two years and you're finally getting it done when we are desperate. That's what is happening here. We are desperate, so we are really trying to get it done. That's what is happening here. Um, I'm expecting at 10.59 we will have here either Arsenal have completed the 45 million or Arsenal will break down. Oh, no, that's, that, that would be terrible, man. Please don't say that. Take that back, okay? That, that is what is actually going to happen. Arsenal or Atletico Madrid have ended talks with Arsenal and Arsenal are going for El Nene's brother or something. I really hope not. I really hope not. So that is the latest news for today for Thomas Party. Arsenal are activating his 45 million release clause and it's looking positive. Finally, some good news. I was starting to get worried. When it reached like around 2 p.m. UK time and every other team is signing and Arsenal was quiet, I was starting to get worried. I was like, are you serious? Are they actually going to go the rest of the season with three midfielders alone? It would have been terrible. So this is a this is piece of news. Um, okay, I can't join you on my phone. I can't. Why can you join? That's the that's the link. I don't know what you're going to use. I'm not sure, but it's supposed to be working. So um, yeah, in case anyone is joining, here's the last tweet. Um, David Onstein was talking about. As being linked to Thomas Party for two years, literally, he was the top target with the war, but it didn't look like they were because we were really playing around, man. It, we were not serious in getting these players. If you're serious in getting a player, you do not offer them 20 million and they want 45. It does not work like that, man. And if you're desperate to get midfielders, you need to be serious. You need to be serious, man. Atletico demanded close, so FC, con FC considered Jorginho. Can you imagine that? We actually did consider Jorginho, but it looks like Jorginho didn't even want to join or Chelsea didn't want to sell him to us or we didn't have the money to get him, I don't know, or we didn't have the enough attraction to get him. That is sad. We can't even get Jorginho at Arsenal. What does that show you? We can't even get Jorginho at Arsenal. It's sad. Um, so far, it seems like it, it will only be part if we get over the line. Yeah, I think we might get another one, but maybe on a loan. There are players at Norwich, there are players at Bournemouth, there are players at Watford. The one I was really, really disappointed in was Dukure. I still can't believe we didn't go for Dukure. 30 million Everton got Dukure and we couldn't go for him. I still don't understand. You can't tell me Everton, okay, they have Ancelotti, but you can't tell me they are more attractive than Arsenal. As of now, they're top of the table, of course, but... Two months ago, are you telling me that Arsenal couldn't have got, got Dukure? Dukure would be, would be such a good buy. He's a box, box midfielder. He will tackle. He will score goals. So I still don't understand why we didn't go for him. So maybe another player from Watford on loan or Bournemouth or any other team, Brentford, whatever. Um, let me turn it. Um, Lingard, but not Lingard Cookie. Please, not Lingard. What is Lingard coming to do at Arsenal? Man? Please don't say that. Please don't say that. Please, please don't say that. Um, this this could be the only piece of news today, but we are expecting players to leave. Torreira will probably be announced as an Atletico Madrid player later today. Um, Guendouzi could be announced as an as a Hatha Berlin player later today too. Um, who else is about to leave? I don't know about Socrates. I don't know the situation with Socrates. Um, Saliba. I don't know. Saliba might not leave, but he's been linked to the move to Fulham on loan, which is very sad, which is very sad because this is a guy we're expecting to come straight in and uh, play for our first team, but he's been in the under-23s team. And now he's about to leave. We've also been linked with Jorginho, but it looks like that deal is off. Probably don't. Um, he's a midfielder. He would have worked for us because we need midfielders, but again, not many Arsenal fans want him at Arsenal. We were also talking about how terrible this guy is on screen. We all hate him. Equally, um, Socrates, nothing on him. You're supposed to leave, but it looks like he might end up staying. Mustafi, too, he was being linked with uh, Lazio, but um, it looks like he's going to stay. Kolasnac could be on his way out to, to Germany by Leverkusen. Um, Awar, of course, that deal looks like it's over, definitely. He even scored for Lyon yesterday, so he played for them yesterday. As of now, we are focusing on Thomas Partey. Could he join Arsenal? Like, you know, you know, with Arsenal, you really have to pray because there's such a huge chance that this deal could break down anytime. You could hear 
it's so arsenal it is so arsenal to hear he failed the medical oh god forbid it is so arsenal to hear he failed the medical and arsenal are going in for a player from azerbaijan division 2 league or something it would be so arsenal but i really hope he joins us um let me see patches pass his medical London to complete the move. I, I, I really hope so. I really hope so. Right now, there's so many different news and all the different sources. I think we'll go this W hole window only selling Emmy. I wish we would really have never sold Emmy, but I, is it really a W? Is it an L? Because we're supposed to get something for Socrates, for Mustafi, for Kolasnach, for El Neni, for Mikaterian. We were supposed to get some money for Torewa, Ozil, Gwenduzi. And you still have some players on crazy wages and they're still at Arsenal. So unless Atita can really improve them, but how far can you improve someone like Kolasnach, to be fair? How far can you improve him? We've tried him as a left wing back, as a left back, as a center back. You know there's a mistake in him. So Arsenal has told Atletico with Arsenal paying the money for part they wanted to three million for Torewa. Atletico is off going to when Socrates Chambers Kolasnach will be sold, going to say Saliba is. All in one day, I'll be very surprised if all those five deals will be completed in one day, including Thomas Party. So six deals. How fast can they do all those deals in, in the next six hours, seven hours? That would be that would be amazing. But again, it worries me. Are we only going to get one player and sell all of these players? That feels like we're going to be very short in terms of squad depth. Um, Leon, after not agreeing, uh, moves for Depay and Adele, they called us if they can make an offer for 40 million. Not us, no man. If they called us to make an offer for 10 million, we would accept that. If party breaks down, you have to try and get a midfielder. What's time, though, Cookie? We only have seven hours. There's, I don't know how fast these guys do their deals. I don't know how fast they travel. I don't know how fast they do their medicals. But in, in, the, in a normal world, you'd expect people to do the deals one month before so that you can be comfortable. Because right now, people are heading to the international break. People are all over the place. So is it a good time to try and get players? Of course, people are trying to get players on deadline day, but I'm not sure. But if we get him, we could finally see this, and I would be very, very happy. Let me know, um, if we sign party, which formation would you guys play and what would be your midfield? What formation would you play and what would be a midfield? Two or three? Who would you play in midfield if Thomas Party joined us? That would be Thomas Party at Arsenal. It would be so amazing to have him at Arsenal. We've cried for him for two years. It looked like we were going to fluff that deal and not get him. Bottle it. You know, even Tottenham have signed more players than us, like the likes of Regilon and um, Gareth Bell. So they've improved more than us. Everton have improved more than us. Aston Villa, Barkley looked amazing yesterday for them it looks like he, he, they've improved more than us so in case you haven't seen the tweet yet this is david onstein uh just right now talking about um arsenal going back for thomas party it looks like we had left thomas party and we were focusing on our and Jorginho. but since the war and Jorginho for um deals have broken down it looks like we are going back for thomas party again so one deal didn't work we are going for another so that's how it's working out and earlier on they had also tweeted that Arsenal were back for Thomas Party. We had gone back for Thomas Party, um, necessary medical in Spain and all that. So that would be, that is good. That is not a piece of news I was expecting today, especially after early on. Everything is going fast at the moment. You will see many movements at the club. Ateta, in the last two games, the post-match interviews, is, he said he's expecting a lot of ins and outs. So and even, our, even our mascot has left, man. That's how many people are leaving. The next thing you'll hear is Arsenal are getting rid of the fans. That's the next thing you'll hear. Arsenal will get rid of the fans because they're even getting rid of workers, mascots. They'll get rid of us fans the next time. You'll hear the fans have been sold from Arsenal. So we haven't sold many players. We clearly have money, especially we are paying for 3 million cash up. Or I don't know what they're usually waiting for. That is something I, I would like to sit down with board members and the transfer guys and not speak. I just hear what they usually say. Because I don't know, I don't get the logic in not getting a player in July and getting him at the end of September, early October when the transfer is closing. I really need to know that. I know making deals are is hard, but how does it become easy on the final day? Party isn't enough to challenge for top four. You could say that, but he'll improve us. He'll improve us definitely because you might say we wouldn't have considered against Sheffield and West Ham if he was there. You could say that. I'd play a 3-4-3 three, three, still weak in defense. Leno, Saka, Tierney, Gabriel, Saliba, Bellerin, Shaka, Tor Torreira? Torreira is gone. Uh, Oba, Laka, Pepe, that would be okay. That, that would be okay. William, though, 
I think William has to play kind of as of now. I would play a 4-3-3 with Pate, Sabayos, and El Nini. Wow, no shaka for you, Babu. Oh, wow, that is interesting. That is very interesting. So you still think El Nini is a first team member at Arsenal? Hmm. Arsenal have targeted three attacking midfielders, but we'll see who will join Ericsson, Oscar. Uh, Ericsson is definitely not coming to Arsenal. Buendia from Norwich should be a good buy. Now, I was also just asking, why can't we go for the likes of Josh King from Bournemouth, Lama from Bournemouth, um, that guy from Buendia from Norwich, Cantwell from Norwich. They would be cheaper. And they would, Arsenal is definitely a bigger club than Norwich now. I know we are like the 10th best club in England right now in the Premier League, but we are definitely better than Norwich. So you'd actually expect us to get a player like that. Dan Buendia would be okay. Oscar, I had William and Luis had contacted him, but I don't think he'll come. There's getting a lot of money from China, so there's no need for him to come. Arsenal sell, sell fans, yeah? If they're getting rid of a mascot who's been here for 25 years plus, the next thing is the, the fans. They'll get rid of the fans and we'll have to travel to another team or move to another team. Are we getting party? Yes, 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 we are getting party. That's the latest news in case you're just joining is Gunners. It looks like we are going to get party. That's the latest news. They've said we've been targeting him for around two years now. He, Awar and Jorginho are the first options recently, but since both are not coming, we've gone back for Thomas party. So this would be a good buy for me. This would definitely be a good for, a buy for me. He looks good in that kit. So let's get him. Uh, you meant party, not Torewa. Cookie. You still have Torewa in your brain. Come on. Sell Torero from your Ben. Get him gone. Pepe over William, in my opinion. Okay. And uh, how about both of them? How about both of them plus a bias and party? And if we don't get him, place a bias. How about all of them? We have lots of money that you say, guys, stingy man. The thing is, the money is not ours. It's his, and he does not have to invest in the team. So he uses his money the way he wants because he owns the club. There's literally nothing you can tell him, unfortunately. So he's literally holding us hostage. I think Ellen is all right. He can stay on the bench. On the bench, that's my point. Not as a starting as a starting person. So no, for me, no, not in the starting eleven. Ateta has players that are that are player to come in to be confident in the club. I thought like since Aubameyang signed, I would have imagined like players would have wanted to come. So I really hope Thomas Partey comes, man. It will really improve our midfield. We only have three midfielders: Shaka, Sabios, and El Neni. Willock, youngster, Niles already covering in other positions. So can you really play the Europa League, the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, the Premier League with only three midfielders, three games per week? I saw our fixture around uh, that time where we're going to face the likes of uh, Molde and Dundalk. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. So, yeah. Hello, I'm back from making a video. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Um, I'm things, here for the things. second session. Things are moving so fast. So the last time we yeah. were here one hour ago, there's already development. Yeah. What do you think? I was it? I was making I was making a video and I have I took like one hour. I always, I always take one hour to make a video and I and I'm actually lost. I don't know what's happening. So yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the Thomas by Would you be happy with that? Yeah. Do you I, think I've, it's I've do you think it's actually going to happen or do you think it's going to break down Which last one? minute? Thomas Thomas Party. Yeah. Ooh, I think I think it might happen. If we don't sign a war, if I think if Arteta doesn't want to disappoint the fans, he's gonna buy a war for us. Uh, uh, he's gonna buy Thomas Party for us. Sorry. Yeah, I don't think Who's it, it's even him. I'm sure. Of, I'm sure if you ask million. Arteta right now, I'm yeah. sure if you ask Arteta right now how many players he wants, he'll tell you ten players. But will he get that money? Um, we won't need any other midfielders. Do you think if we get party, we'll be okay in midfield jewels? Will it be enough to compete in the Europa League, the Carabao Cup, the league? Yeah, of course. He's he's Champions League level, let's be honest. Um, he's like, yeah, he, he will be a key player this season. And um, as I've mentioned, I think if we don't get a war, we just bring um we just bring party in, we let Gwenduzi out on the loan. It's already confirmed as what we saw from Hertha Berlin's Twitter post. And also, yeah. um, we could put Ceballos playing that center attacking midfield position, or we might just play the same formation we've played. But the problem is that we ha we haven't been creating enough chances, which is not good enough. So we might have to we might start changing into four two three one and have Ceballos be our creative player for the season. Yeah, I can see. Is gonna say um, Obama and want Dembele man. Dembele is injured. 
Dembele has had like 30 injuries at Barcelona, different injuries, thigh injury, hamstring, foot injury, ankle. He's not good enough, man. We, we already, our hospital at Arsenal is full. We have like seven, eight players there. And we had, there's a time last season, Pablo Mario was injured. Cedric was injured. Um, Mustafi, Socrates, they were all injured. Shaka was injured. And we don't need to add other, other injury-prone players, man. Martinelli is currently injured. You saw the way they were trying to break Aubameyang's foot the other day. We don't need other injuries, man. So for me, yeah. and to come back to your previous question, I think we do need more midfielders. Maybe one more. Maybe one more and then you'll look good. Unless we really want to give an opportunity to Willock and the likes of Saka every single day, then that's fine. Go ahead, Jules. Yes, yeah, so I've got a question for you. You're saying that one more midfielder would be good enough. Do you think party is good enough? Oh, yeah, it's definitely better than what we have. That's number one. It's definitely better than good, what you, or what point, you don't. Yeah, good point. Or, or what you don't even have. Do we even have anything in midfield? No. So I've seen him score goals. I've seen him tackle. I've seen him do all that box to box passing. So it's definitely better than what we have. So right now, I'd get any midfielder. If you get me Cantwell from Norwich, I'd get him. So between Cantwell and Buendia, if you're offered both of them, which one would you get? Um, Buendia. From what I, I've seen, He's like a Ceballos. From what I've seen last season, I've I've saw a few videos of him. I haven't. I I didn't really watch Norwich games last season, um, but like from what I've seen from like the clips that people have put up together for him, it's act it's actually sensational. He she's so underrated. He's still in Norwich. I cannot believe it. He I think it would perfectly fit if if we didn't buy if we didn't get Ceballos. I think we would be going for Buendia right now. Yeah, uh, Cookie says Sapias is quality, but so is Shaka. Um, oh, you know what? Shaka is not that much of quality. It's only quality because we have no one better than him in the team. If you bring De Bruyne and Vinaldo, he's a keeper right in the now, team, though. He's like a captain. If you bring, if you bring De Bruyne right now and uh, Didi, yeah, that's he'll not that's even different. he'll not even be considered. He'll not even be considered who we put in starting lineup. Now the thing is, we'll be switching next. We have City away, United away, Everton away, Leeds away some terrible fixtures. So in those fixtures, you'd see Pate, Shaka, and maybe Sabayos. And yeah, then Shaka, you home... put for experience. Yeah, Shaka, I'll put for experience. And, you know, he, he's, he also has those um, captain skills, I guess, um, to, to manage the team and to hold the defense and the midfield, of course. Yeah, if you're playing at home to a team like um, West Brom, even though these teams have become, even Aston Villa scoring seven goals, man. It looks like we still need to play a back five against Aston Villa. So if West Brom come to our place, you, c- you can have Thomas Pate, Sabayos in a two, and then in front of them, William, Pepe, Obama, and Lacazette. And all of a sudden, we can score four or five goals every game. So yeah. depending on which fixture, uh, I can't wait for Martinelli to come back. Uh, Jules, do you think Martinelli is a first team player, or first 11 player if he comes back, or do you think he's just yeah, a coach Yeah, yeah, we've, mi- we've missed him a lot. He's not a first, t- oh, he might be actually, depending where we play. If we play him right wing, it depends. Honestly, I haven't seen enough of him this season, other than, you know, he, he was the goal, he had scored the goal of the season. Is that good enough? Like, I, I, I don't remember him. Like, I don't really miss him, but I'm not sure if that's good or bad. I think it's bad because he still brought that extra quality into the team. I remember 19 years old, Saka, he made it easily into the team because he was already, he was playing left back um, compared to Martinelli. He's playing, he's like competing against the likes of Aubameyang, Pepe, William, probably the best in the world. So it's very hard to get a spot, but I still think he will definitely be in the squad every time, in the match day squad, every game. And he'll be very good next season, trust me. Yeah, the thing seen and with Ozil, even if he goes out on loan, you do know he'll still be paying his wages, at least half of it. So that really doesn't make me happy. I just want him to be sold or to stay in the team to play. One yeah. of them. I don't like yeah, this true. loan moves, man. Pate is not enough, Arsenal Alex Simon. Um, Pate is not enough. Um, I know it's not enough. I know we need like four or five players. I want to win the league. We need... We have Thomas Pate, Alex. We are going to win the league. What are you talking about? Liverpool we need two have just more centre mids. We need two more centre mids. You know, I actually do agree with him. If I was the Arsenal manager Depends. right now, I'd try Depends. and get rid of El Nene. I'd take Willock out on loan. I'd have Shaq on the bench, and I'd have Pate with someone else in midfield. I, yeah, but I told with guys, the money we've got, with the money we've got, it's it's almost impossible to do that. Can you play midfield? You can even sign you because for me, I just need any new player at Arsenal. We need, <laughs> need any new player at Arsenal because the ones that we have are not good enough. Let's be honest, man. 
that's why when we play Manchester City, even when they don't have anyone, in midfield, they normally run, run around us because De Bruyne, all those players, they're just way yeah. too good and we have no cover. And uh, plus a goalkeeper, good number two to challenge Leno. Bring back Martinez. Uh, is gonna says I think Arsenal should have signed Fekir. Do you think it's good enough, Fekir? Oh yeah, Fekir is also another creative player. But anyways, if we were linked with him, his wage his wages are so high. He plays for a bad club right now. He ruined his career. I think at Lyon, he was like Memphis Depay, but better because I see him in the French team uh, last year. He was so underrated. Last no, it was it was two years ago. He was so underrated. I remember seeing him play. Um, he was probably like when I remember him playing in the French team. He's one of the most underrated players. Um, he was as good as Griezmann and all that, and easily made into the French team. Now he ruined. Sorry, you've um, ain't just gone. Let me go through the comments again. Um, I think Arsenal should have signed Fekir. I would say, yeah, maybe. Um, Sadbias is not the type of player who can play that number 10 position. I, you know, I actually feel like he can. I actually feel like we are the ones making him play that central central midfield position. I think he can. At a team like, um, against a team like, let's say, Stoke in the Carabao Cup, are you telling me Sadbias can't play in that position? I don't know. Buendia has beautiful passes. He can play that number 10 role quite well. Then what happens to Pepe and William? Because like for bios. me, I want Pepe. Like a Sibios, hmm? basically. From what I've seen from his style of play, he's exactly like Ceballos. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, is Ghana says Man United are easy. Don't consider that a hard game now. Is Ghana, let me tell you something. We've watched yeah. more than 50, 50 games against United. Back in that 2011 season, we said, you know what? This is a fresh season. We are going to beat United. They scored eight. Back in 2016, they didn't have anyone. They had a Rashford guy who was 16 years of age. We had such a good team, well back, ready to score against his former team. We went there and considered three goals. I've seen them come into a place with Valencia and Lingard and totally smack us. I've seen us go to their place and lose heavily in the FA Cup 4-0 with Park Jisan as their striker. So United away is never an easy game, man. We've not won there since 2006. Adebayo scored the goal. That is why I consider Adebayo an Arsenal legend because he scored the last ever goal. We won at Old Trafford, so his Ghana's United are never easy. You can you can easily see Van der Beek scoring his first brace for United in that game. That's how Arsenal is. That's how Arsenal. It's never an easy game. Uh, Shaka turned down a move to Bayern Munich, Liverpool before joining Arsenal. He played at Moche Gladbach. Something that really annoyed me. But you know, Sinan, time goes. Time goes. That was five, six years ago. People lose their pace. That's why someone like Rooney and Messi can't play as a striker these days. They have to play in midfield. Time goes, man. If he was playing like that back then, this is the Premier League and he can't play that right now. There are so many competitive midfielders in the Premier League, so it will definitely be hard for him. And uh, I still don't know why we signed Shaka instead of Kante. Well, Kante was cheap at that time. Who do you have gotten at that time, Jules? Kante or Shaka? Oh, I didn't even question. know Shaka anyway. Yeah, exactly at that time, I would have picked Shaka, actually, because Kante was unknown. You you can't, you can't, he was unknown. He was still unknown. It was still risky. Shaka was an experienced, no, he wasn't experienced, but he was a young man that was growing with a bright future. It's like, it was like in the war at that time, but in the CDM position. Um, and yeah, the first season was terrible, let's be honest. But now, you know what? I, I'm actually happy we signed him. Like, anyways... I wouldn't see now, now, you know, like the team without Shaka, it's really hard to to be like, I don't know, to be like a balanced team. Um, yeah. Yeah, a consistent team. It's it's very hard to be but, a consistent team without Shaka. Barrington asks, if we sign Pate, how much will the shirt be? You know, I think right now it's around 60 pounds, 80 pounds there, depending on how original the shirt is. I'm telling you, these guys will try and eat more of our money. If they sign party, they'll put that at like 200 pounds. That's how Arsenal usually do with us, like with only party. But I don't know, maybe 80 pounds for an original one. Of course, you can get cheaper ones and secondhand ones and all that. The shirt will cost the same as usual one, of course, but uh, it depends where you're buying and how original they are. Do you guys, um, Jules, let me ask you, do you usually get uh, shirts? Do you usually put a name on, on the back or are you like, nah? These days, there's um, no loyalty. I used to, I used to like that. Wait, you mean as in my name or as in just 
ya a player's name because back back in the day i used to be like wow ashavin arsenal four goals i'm getting him on my shirt um van pass is scoring so many goals i'm getting him but the yeah. loyalty is so bad was, can you really yeah, get an arsenal was, player yeah now you could abamian you could like anyone who's lived the legacy at arsenal you could put their shirt but other than that all of them is risky and anything can happen like you could like you probably put someone who's just signed like a five year deal like gabriel for example or like runnerson but you, you know anything could still happen but yeah usually yeah i, I used to be the same as for you uh, i put my name actually on the back with number 14 uh, it was my fa- it's 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 my favorite I- number it's always been my favorite number um and now and now i don't put anything cuz it's just annoying that everyone knows my name every time we just walk, mm. walk by so yeah, yeah. and pl- pl- players are going to leave any time so even obama you can't yeah. be sure he was being linked away with the move like for one for one year so you can't be sure there's going to still leave so these days mm, there's no one you can really put on your shirt man because people you don't know how long they're going to stay um do you guys think atito will keep protecting the board with comments from his pressers i don't know if that's normally i think they for me i think they actually do protect the board what do you think um uh, Jules, do you think they usually just say something because they've been told to say? No, 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 no. Uh Arteta, no, he, he from the interview I've seen last time, like I I thought he would be like, you know, he's been asked a question a few times is he backed by the board? And I think Arteta, yeah, he 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 said he said I think I think what he said was true. He said like he was fully backed. I think he was fully backed. However, he wasn't given the money. You can be backed but not given the money. So that that's what it is, you know. Um yeah, I mean yeah. yeah it, is Ghana's Gunners... he... Go ahead, go yeah? ahead. Oh, oh, okay, thank you. Um so pl- plus you know the the owner Kronky doesn't even know anything about football. So I mean, yeah. It, it's just mm. he doesn't I mean at least if he gave money, he would have some loyalty, I guess. Let me put that guy on screen and just, uh, again leave a like if you hit Kronky. Leave a like if you hate Kroenke as usual. Tell me how much you hate that guy. Do you think Arsenal would be in the top two, top three if Kroenke was not in charge? Let me know. Leave a like if you hate Kroenke. If you want Kroenke to stay, don't like the video. There it is. Um, so since Eleni came back, he has done well. I've not refused his gunners. I've not said no, but he's not supposed to be starting for Arsenal. That is what I'm trying to say. he should be coming from the bench not we should not be depending on sack and el nani man sack is a kid el nani is is not is not that midfielder man is not that midfielder man. so he should be coming from the bench to to spoil things when we are two one ahead just come and spoil things that's what we need he's working with the arsenal board the two years and that is now almost one year um please not about thomas party transfer in this closing at 12 mm, i know man i really hope we get it done The thing is usually they normally extend it if you're already working on it the Premier League will extend like 2 3 hours for you guys but I want it done early I want it done before everyone goes to bed tonight or something like that my knee is not as good as and now they aren't as good that time and they had Van Gaal they had David Moyes they aren't good man they still beat us with David Moyes and lost to Riviera team with with Patton Shackel Nani as DM Sabas Wendia can play CM with his and you do know we still get them like two penalties that game you do know that with Patton Shackel Nenia's DMs so bias Boendia can play Boendia is just a Boendia is just a talk but we'd like him to come uh Messi aren't as good as before you know and to lose pass they're really bad yeah that's what i'm saying like players change seen and said um Shaka used to play as a box to box midfielder but not now man you 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 get old and you age and all that i need to go if any is awesome man i'll be doing like i don't know like three more streams today depending on how many players we sign if we get Messi i'll be streaming all night If we get Messi I'll be streaming all night. Jules, any other person you want us to sign apart from Pate? Okay, you've said Awar, but any other yeah. gem that people don't know about? Um yes, there is this one player from Ajax. You know, we've probably been linked with him. You probably know. For God's name, I think it was like uh, or or can Korku or something like that. He's also mm-hmm. center attack in midfield. His price tag mm-hmm. is very low obviously. It's from um 30 to 40 million. you know the ideal mm. price especially in the budget we've got um he's one very recommended and someone else in the transfer window also we've got Brozovic from Inter Milan you probably know him he's a Croatian yeah. international he's also not bad he's 
I, I'm talking about players, of course, they're available in the transfer window. There, there's so many center mids in the world. And uh, we've been linked with Buendia today, I think, at the end, um, before this, um, the, the transfer window shuts on the deadline day. And unfortunately, I, I don't think it'll, it'll, it'll get done. But Buendia is also a great option, as I said, very similar to Ceballos. Yeah, um, why not sentiment FC says he disagrees with you. He disagrees with you. Uh, I don't know, For man. I, he, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He said he said Kante. Yeah, he might have won that league that time. Uh, with no, he he yeah he won it with Leicester and uh, he wanted a higher wage than Shaka. That's that's what he's saying. But yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's Arsenal. W what are you gonna expect? We I think that year we still got the Champions League spot, but. Um, I think it was the year where we bought. I think it was the year where we bought Aubameyang. Actually, yeah, it might have been the year um, we bought Aubameyang. That year he's talking about. But anyways, still, you know, we don't have enough money for that. Shaka, do you know? Um, do you guys? Sorry, you broke up. Do you know? Do you guys know why Shaka was picking up so many yellow cards and red cards? Because he is slow. Not because he's a bad player, he's a rough player or anything like that. Because every time a player got past him, he cannot come back. He yeah. cannot reach the player. True, so true. he will fall and get a yellow card and red card. Kante does not pick up as many yellow cards as Shaka. Okay, Shaka has improved this day. He doesn't pick up as many. And that is because like, we've changed our style of play. But when he used to play attacking football, he'd struggle very much. For Kante, he'll cover. If he loses the ball, he'll come back and tackle. That is why Shaka used to pick up so many yellow cards. So for me, I would go, I've gotten Kante, man. I don't care how much he's getting paid, man. That guy has won the World Cup. He has won two league titles with two different teams. I would have gotten him. Uh, good player. Yeah, good Thomas Thomas Party, of course, Major. Thank you. Lewis says, hi. So um, if we get Party by himself, also let me know in the chat. This is for you, Jules, but let me know in the chat too. If we get Party. What's your rating for this transfer window out of 10? Mm, great question, actually. I think it is going to happen. Uh, it, might, it might not, actually. Um, and I would understand why it didn't happen, because it's very last minute. But, yeah, we deserve a signing. We deserve a big signing. All Arsenal fans have been waiting for so long, especially since a war is not going to happen. I think we deserve something, right? Don't we, Glenn? Um, and, yeah, I think... If we if we do get party, I think the overall I would probably give like um I'll probably give eight or nine because we signed some good players, the small budget that we've got, a very limited budget that we've got, and we managed to sign all these players. We sold some of the players that we don't want. That's also part of the transfer window, obviously, that makes your transfer window good. And um yeah, I think I think other than that, also yeah, it's some it's some good players. It's probably the best players you can get, especially in the Arsenal squad. That they fit the Arsenal squad. There are only a few in the world, by the way. So it's very good if we get party. Nine. Did you say eight or nine? Wow, you're so nice. Let me tell you guys what my rating is. Let me just remove this. It's party time from there. By the way, if you don't know, Jules is Arsenal. That A F H K is Arsenal from Hong Kong. He does some good content there. So. Let me tell you what I'll rate Arsenal's transfer window because if it was not for part, it was going to be very low. Let me just do a quick recap as I did earlier, Jules. For me, it started very poorly. We couldn't get any money for Mkhitaryan. Roma literally refused to pay anything for him and we had to cancel the contract because we know he's not good enough. We were literally paying for what we did back then with Sanchez and Mkhitaryan and still paying for it two years later. We got rid of him on a free just like Ramsey, got nothing for him, honor free. Um, things became better a bit because we got Aubameyang, signed a new deal. That was probably our best transfer this season. We got Aubameyang done. That was that was really, really good for us. Um, we also got Sabayos back, which was really good too because um, I don't think we'd have done without Sabayos. He was really good for us at the end of last season, for sure. He was definitely very good for us. Um Lacazette was linked to the move away to Juventus. I didn't want him to go, so that was a good thing that he stayed, but he needs to convert chances from next game. He needs to start converting chances. That was the first, and then we had so many players being linked to the move away. Gabriel, who you can see on uh, in that picture, he joined us from um, Lille, right? It's Lille. Yeah, he yeah. joined us from Lille. 
scored on his debut. Very good. That's good. That's another positive for the transfer window. Negative, I didn't want Martinez to leave. If you have two quality goalkeepers, there's a time Chelsea had Sabayos uh, now. They had um, Cotouar and Czech. And I think they won the title that season because they had two good goalkeepers. Um, back to the negatives again. Awar linked with us the whole time, carried on every day, every day, every day. We still can't pay the money. We still can't pay the money. Torreira says he doesn't want to be in England. He says he's not comfortable. He does not enjoy the weather. He does not enjoy the food. All that he needs to go. He's still here until today. He's about to leave, but he's still been here. Socrates did not play a game, did not start a game after lockdown. Why is he still here? We had the whole of um, September, the whole of October, the whole of August, September, and now a few days in October is still here. Kolasinac, we know how many poor, poor games is played for us. This guy, this, this game we played against, um, was it West Ham? And he got across and he literally just skied the ball against Tottenham last season. He can't pass the ball forward. He's always passing backwards. Okay, let's go to Mustafi. Mustafi is another one who's stealing a living at Arsenal. Yes, he was a good player at the end of last season, but I told you guys early on, even if Mustafi won the Ballon d'Or today, I would still not trust him to do anything for us. He, you know he's going to make a mistake. There's a time I saw him play against Newcastle and the ball was on the end. He just fell down. He's like a sniper took him out. It's like a sniper took He just falls down for no reason. That's Mustafi for you. Stealing a living at Arsenal. Okay. And then we literally had to look at this guy's face for the whole transfer window. Um, again, we were linked with Jorginho. Jorginho. Yes, he did play very well against us uh, at home last season, but we were linked to Jorginho. Um, Saliba came back. He's about to go out again. So I don't know how you guys, what you guys think about that. Um, we were also debating about Thomas Partey and Awar. Who's going to come? Who's going to how? They're going to play with both of them. And right now, Guendouzi is about to leave. Chambers has also been linked to the move away. We still have like 10 Deadwood players in the team. We couldn't get our done. We couldn't get um, any other defenders done apart from Gabriel. We couldn't get these players people have been talking about. Cantwell, um, a left back. We've bought a goalkeeper, Ranason. He has not played in the Carabao Cup games. You want my rating out of 10, Jules? Before party joins, it's a 5 out of 10. And that is because Aubameyang signed and we got Gabriel, a good defender. But we know our midfield problems. We've not sorted out anything. We are still stuck with Ozil, Crank is holding us hostage. We, we've been targeted with like 20 players. Only like one of them is about to join. Our transfer market deals are so awful. We can't get deals done. No one wants to join Arsenal. No one wants to buy players from Arsenal. We are stuck with so many awful players. Gwenduz is still here. We've been linked with so many awkward players. Let me tell you, Thomas Lamar links to Arsenal. Why? We have so many attacking wingers. We have Pepe there, we have Saka, they have Martinelli to come back, Obama is there, William is there. Why are you linked with um, this guy, Lama? Chambers is about to leave, okay? So without Pate, 5 out of 10. If we get Pate and we we sell the likes of um, Chambers and uh, maybe Torreo and Guendouzi, uh, I'd say 6 out of 10. And that is just because we got Pate. But we still have a midfield problem. We still have a defensive problem. Because think about it. Let's say, I really hope it does not happen. But if Tierney got suspended today, who plays in that position? Niles is, Niles, yeah. Niles is not a left back. Saka is not a left back. Yeah, that's exactly right. what I was going to ask you. That's exactly what I was going to ask you um, after you ended. Once Kalasnach leaves, who do we have? And... Is Kalasnach actually going to leave? We we don't know. We don't know. It's still not confirmed. His medical apparently has been confirmed, but I'm not sure if he's actually going to leave. I think he might stay at Arsenal. There's still a potential chance. Saka maybe might come back. Um, or depending the formation we play, like 3-4-3, uh, three, three, maybe we might bring Gabriel on one of the sides. Uh, honestly, it's very complicated. But I think your overall rating was very harsh. Um, I'm going to be honest, five or six out of ten. Okay, mine was a bit too high, I'm going to be honest. It wasn't, like, great. It's not like we got a war and party. That would have probably been eight or nine, you have to agree with me. 
if we got party and the war, um, plus all the players we've signed. And um, yeah, I think I think that that's a, I, I think I put uh, too much. Um, yeah, my my rating was a bit too high. Yours was a bit too low, though. I think it would have been in between six to seven. I think I would understand that, but because we have to think of it, it's not our fault that we don't we don't we can't buy players. It's because of um, it's because of Kronky. He doesn't give us the money, and I I I I don't really want to put Kronky as part of the reason why your rating once is going to lower down because I don't find that fair. Because he's never he's never given a single ounce to Arsenal. In the transfer window, so it's not really our fault, to be honest. Understand when Ga- yeah, Dangote but... comes, when Dangote comes, you know who Dangote is, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, once he comes, I think it might solve the problem, and he might give. He he's probably going to give a lot of cash to Arsenal. We might win the league one day, hopefully. Let me know in the chat. Um, who did we get last season? Because for me, Pepe last season. I actually think we had a better window last season than this one. I actually do think that. I think if you're not, we are not going to get Thomas Pate. Last year I was better window than this one because we got Pepe and Tierney done. We got our world record transfer fee. We didn't know how Pepe was coming to play. And Tierney was proved to be one of our best players right now. So last season was actually better than this season. I don't know if you guys agree, but we've actually fallen down even more. Uh, thank you, Mohamed, for your comment. Um, thank you, Chiedu. Thank you, Lewis, as usual. Um, why not as usual? Babu O says selling players, especially at this pandemic time, is not easy. Was so as not, let me tell you, Babu. The thing is, even even if there was no pandemic, we'd still struggle to get rid of these players. We have 10 players who are not good enough, man. We have to we have to accept it. There's no way City will come and buy El Neni. There's no way United will come and buy Mustafi. There's no way. There's no way. They are going for players for like Sancho not players like Mustafi and all those players. So we need more Ben Godfrey. I liked him. Boendia can't tell us if Godfrey. Godfrey went to Everton, if I'm not wrong. They're becoming yeah. even more stronger. Man. They're becoming for, for more For 30 stronger. million. For 20 to 30 million, I think yeah. it was. Do you think they'll finish in the top six, Everton? Everton, yeah. The, I think top six, yes. The team they've got, the chemistry there is. James... Back at his best. Uh, we weren't really expecting it, but um, Calvert Lewin is having a heck of a season right now, scoring every goal for them. Uh, Hamas is also key to that. Alan is also key to you know all the passing uh, and the defense. You know, Yerimina, Luca Dean, um, their their left back and their right back, of course, Coleman, two excellent assisters, and you know that create chances alongside Hamas who also creates chances. And he will be playing the Arsenal way, um, bringing that Arsenal type of, you know, one like quick plays in that dangerous area in the box, um, that Arsenal type of thing he's bringing into Everton. I, I think they have an excellent team. Uh, Carlos Ancelotti has built an excellent team, to be honest. So, yeah, I think they might make top six. I'm going to so be Jules, honest. Jules says um, he gives this transfer window an eight out of ten. I've given it a six if... We get party. If we don't get party five, remember at the end of last season, we were expecting, yeah, we've won the FA Cup. We need new players. What were we expecting? Get rid of Ozil, reduce the wages. Get rid of Gwenduzi, not getting along with the manager. Um, get rid of Mustafi, get rid of Socrates, Kolasinac. El Neni send him out on loan again. We were thinking, get a Warren party, sort out your midfield problems. Get a backup striker, someone will come and play with Lacazette and Ketia. People are even talking about Willock or Nelson on Ketia going out on loan again. Um, then where did these stories for Lacazette going, Niles going, all this stuff come, come, ca- came from? Um, Martinez also left. So this has not been a good a good window. So for me, six out of 10, if party joins. If he doesn't join, five out of 10. Look at Chelsea. How many players have Chelsea bought? Why can't they get deals done and we can't? Because they have a good owner. They have Abramovich who actually gives them money. Who have we got? Kronky. We got to protest again. We got to fly that banner again. Yeah, we are actually going to start over here. Make sure, guys, if you hate Kronky, make sure you leave a like on the video. Let me put it on screen because we need to we need to get serious now. These guys are taking our club away from us, man. I grew up watching Arsenal competing for titles and all that. Watching beautiful football from Fabregas, Cazola, Vieira, Gilberto, but now back Ateta, 
cranky out. Always remember that. Back Ateta, cranky out. He does not care about the football team. He does not even know which team we played yesterday. And um, yeah, that was Thomas Party. Let me ask you a few questions, um, Jules, uh, about the game yesterday. Do you think this was supposed to be a red card on Aubameyang when he was fouled? Yeah, I saw that live. Actually, you know what? Fun fact, I missed the first 30 minutes of the game. Uh, because I've, I had some Wi-Fi issues. But anyways, uh, no relevance. I saw this. I clearly saw this. Um, ooh, I'm not sure. Uh, if it if it, actu- if it injured Aubameyang and he was subbed off, yes, it would have been a red card. If he, if he had a stretcher off, yes, it, it would have definitely been a red card. However, he came back. Um, yeah, it should have still been. I don't know. It's maybe what well, it was definitely a yellow for sure. But I, I actually don't know. It should have been a yellow. There should have there should have been a VAR check though. That's that's the thing, and there was no VAR check, which I'm pretty disappointed of. The thing is, the moment I saw Bamian going down and he was still down after two minutes, I almost started crying, because how do you start replacing Obamian? Last season, Obamian got um he got sent off against Crystal Palace and we played against Sheffield United at home and I think I think Chelsea away and we actually didn't lose any of those games. Why? because we had Martinelli on form in those two games. Right now, we don't even have Martinelli. What do we do? If Aubameyang goes out for a bit, we are in trouble. In Ketia, we, will- we go Willian. We go Willian. For goals, let me ask you another question. Last season, since Gwenduzi joined, how many goals has Gwenduzi scored? Zero. Oh, no, one or two, I think. One. How many goals has Shaka scored in the last two seasons? Like two. Um, How many goals yeah. has Torreira three. scored? I remember two or three goals at Anfield. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. How many goals has Sabaya scored since he came to Arsenal? Like two. How many goals? You go to a team like Manchester City, De Bruyne goals, more than 10. Um, Fernandinho, like two or three. Rodri, like four. You go to... You get my point. Mount, yeah. all those players in midfield, they're scoring goals. So for us, Liverpool, Obama, Liverpool have a huge stat. They, every every of their mid of every of their midfielder has at least scored six goals this season, which is outstanding Ob- compared to Arsenal. Ob- Aubameyang scores all our goals. We have no goals from midfield. I'm hoping Pepe yeah. and William correct that. So when you see Aubameyang lying down like this, you start crying because. <laughs> If something happens to him right now, we're in big, big trouble. We're in big, big trouble. So let's hope the party deal gets done. I don't know how many hours are remaining. Any other deals that um, you've seen, Jules, today for any other teams? Uh, from any other teams, yes. Um, I'm, I'm going to say a few key ones, actually. There's Cavani, apparently, who has uh, completed his medical and it will be announced anytime soon uh, for, Man- for Manchester United on a two-year um, deal. What do you think about that, Glenn? Um, I, I hate Manchester United. That's first. Second, <laughs> I think um, they are terrible yesterday and Cavani should change his mind. I don't know. I think Martial is not a good striker for them. He's not even a striker, so I think they need someone like Cavani either way. Just some experience. But even him is such a hard head, he'll bring trouble to the team. He's not a player that can get along with young players. He's such a hard head. By the way, we have 60 people watching. Um, in case you knew, in case you just joined, I just asked, what's your rating of Arsenal's window this summer? If Party doesn't join and if Party join, for me, if Party doesn't join five, if Party joins six, Jules has given um, them an eight. Wow, that's yeah, high, man. Yeah. It would have been an eight if we got our. But realistically not, yeah. seven. Realistically seven. I'm not ready to see Must- a combination of Mustafi and Socrates again next season, man. I'm not ready for that. I am not ready for that, man. I want top four. I do not want us to drop even further back. So there'll be more news. I don't know if there's any more breaking news. Liverpool, nothing will happen there. Party is, um, will Party be one of the best midfielders if he joins in, in the Premier League? Uh, yes, yes. Because he, he has a Champions League level from what we saw last, last year when he was playing... Uh, with Atletico Madrid, just he dominated. Uh, he dominated. He's a bit different than Ceballos. He doesn't dominate as in like skillfully. He's more on the. He's more like a Vieira, you can say. Expe- he's also experienced now. He's twenty-seven years old, and I think it's great. I think I think the Premier League will definitely suit him in terms of Arsenal, his style. Fan. Arsenal fans are crazy. There's one person here on Twitter saying 
I am at the medical center where Thomas Party is going to undergo his medical. I'm waiting to see all the action live. People are stalking now. People are now stalking, but I really hope we get this deal done. Yeah, Thomas Party said to undergo a medical shortly in Spain. Uh, that is from um, Chris Waitley. Credit to Charles Watts and AFC Bell for the breaking news first. So Thomas Party is set to undergo his medical shortly in Spain. This is the best news we would have had today. So it looks like we're going to get him, Jules. So six out of 10 for the transfer window. Six out of 10. Um, yeah. Uh, I've, checked, I've checked the fans on Twitter right now. I just had a quick check. They're creating so many photoshops of him signing having the medical in the airport. It's, it's just crazy, but it makes me feel good. That's a good thing about it. Um, and yeah, hopefully we get this done. Do you think uh, if you just get party, how many players did you try and get in January, considering no injuries and all that? Um, oh, you mean party you think is form? Uh, you're talking about his form, right? No, if we get party and he plays well, and then um, we don't sell anyone, and then um, we don't have any injuries, how many players would you try and get in January? Because I still feel it's not enough. We have so many competitions to play. Yeah. It's a... Oops, he's gone. Uh, then... Sorry, he's gone. Um, as I was saying, I'm trying to get you the latest news. But uh, the last tweet I saw was um, Thomas Pat. This was the last news, if you want to check it out. As you read, let me try and get you the latest on... Um, the the latest tweet that has been put out. Go ahead, Jules. Yeah, sorry, I was talking about Thomas Party. So there, it was. It's gonna be great if Thomas Party comes in. Um, so yeah, to Thomas Party. It's gonna be great competition with um, Shaka, Ceballos, um, El Nani, obviously, and then him himself. And it's gonna be great to see that competition, which means every time. Uh, uh, and uh, like two of them get selected, or two or three of them, whatever. It's it's going to be two of two or three of them that are at their best, which is very good. And it's it's gonna the competition will make them even more hungry to have a start and make them play way better, which is very good to have competition like this uh, in a club that's developing. That's exactly what we need. Okay, just one question for you before we end it. Um, what's tell me your starting eleven if Pate joins. Oh, great. Great question. I'm still thinking of this. I was thinking, ooh, um, I have two options. I've got 4-2-3-1 and I've got 3-4-3. Three, three. I'm going to go 4-2-3-1 because 3-4-3 three, three would be obvious. It was just the same lineup with him and Shaka or him and Sebas. I don't know. But with 4-2-3-1, it's more interesting because uh, I would go with, okay, and go Leno, uh, the two in the back. I would go with Gabriel on the left, David Luiz, right center back. Um, left left back here in Tierney, right back Bellerin, and then the two um, out of the four two three one, the two central defensive midfielders. I'll put Shaka and um, I'll put Shaka and uh, Party. Sorry, and then the three. Um, I'm gonna put Obama on one side, obviously. On the other side, I'll put Pepe instead of William, and in the middle, I'll put Ceballos because we're not gonna get a war done, and he's a creative player, isn't he? And then up front, mm -hmm. it'll be in Ketia or Lacazette. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so for me, I have two lineups. When we play City Same. away, Liverpool away, such kind of teams, I'd go with obviously the back five, I stick with it. But the formation I'm really keen on is when we play at home to West Broms and all these teams, I'd go for a back four of Tierney, Bellerin, Luis, and Gabriel. Luis, not because Luis is a stunning, magnificent player, because we have no one else. Yeah. In midfield, in midfield, I'd actually bench Shaka because we are trying to attack here. We are trying to get goals against the likes of West Brom. So I'd go with Thomas Partey and Sabayas in the middle. And then up front, I'd still want to see Pepe as a number 10. So Pepe as a number 10, Obama on the left, William on the right, and then Lacazette up front. And all of a sudden, these teams could be conceding six goals at the MS, like back in the old days. Do you guys remember back like six, seven years, eight years ago, we would, we would face like the likes of Blackpool and score six nil? Walcott, yeah. Van Persie. You know, I know we hate those guys, but man, those days with Van Persie and Fabregas used to be very good. We used to call six against um, it was fun Everton, to watch. Southampton. It was fun to watch. It was, that's the word. It was fun to watch that football when you had Van Persie and Fabregas and all those players. We would face Blackburn and score seven. Henri, a guy who had already retired and come back, he'd score the seventh goal. 
football was beautiful. So I've loaded that tweet, and this is the latest tweet. Thomas Pate is undergoing his medical in Spain. So is that good news? Very, very good news. And um, yeah, credit to Charles Watts and the FC Bell breaking the news first. So medical shortly. We, you still need to play, man, to pray, sorry. You still need to pray, Jules, because um, you know Arsenal. You know how it's, how, how it's going to go. You you'd e- easily hear that time has run out or someone has failed the medical. Oh, no, please. So, yeah. So oh, if, he's, no, uh, no, if he no. joins, you give him an 8 out of 10 or? Um, yeah, uh, you mean the you mean the overall transfer, transfer window. window, right? Yeah, I would yeah. probably give um six uh seven. Okay, I'm gonna be realistic. Now, some some questions in the comments I've been seeing. So you should answer these. Lots of people are asking about Ozil. So if we don't get, yeah, a I can party, see that. Um, yeah. Um, we are waiting for party guys. Doing thank you, coffee. Thank you very much. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'll be back again. With like so many other people. What time is it in Hong Kong, Jules? Uh, midnight. Midnight. You see, you see, you. It's midnight. You see the commitment of Arsenal fans. He's up at midnight and Crank is busy in his mansion, not caring yeah. what is happening. We, yeah, yeah, we are yeah. Bu- we are busy trying to crying out for crying for players. Play, people are up at twelve o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. And is not doing anything here. Lion King says, "Um, tell us about Ozil." I can't tell you anything about Ozil, man. I've talked about Ozil. I've said if he stays, if Ozil stays, you have to play him because I, I, we have so many competitions. We are trying to play so many competitions at the same time, so you have to play him in one of those games. Um, where is Ozil Kong? Trans says. Ozil is going to stay. Ozil is not going to go anywhere. He's been linked with Fanabache, but I think it's a bit too late. He could move out in January, but as of now, we are stuck with him, guys. We are literally stuck with him. So for me, there's a time around November, October, November, we have some really bad fixtures. Everton away, Leeds away, City away, United away, Leicester at home. Um, the, the three, four Europa League fixtures. So I think you have to use him there somewhere, man, because... If you play Obameng every day, if you play like as it every day, you're risking injuries. So I don't want that. Um, do you think bringing in Party would bring back Ozil in team since at such a creating more chances? Now, this is a possibility because you've added into our de- defensive midfield. So we have room for one lazy player. We have room for one lazy player in the team. So you can throw. I saw United fans crying about Pogba yesterday. That is how Ozil would play for you. He'll make a mistake and stop. That is what I don't want to see. But if we have those other players party around, Shaq around, then we could have Ozil creating the chances. Then it could look good. So for me, yes, I would um, I would play Ozil. If he doesn't stay, it's good for us. If he doesn't stay, it's good for us. I can't wait to see Pat in an Arsenal jersey. Rickson, you can't wait to see him in an Arsenal jersey. Um, you can have a glimpse of him. All the, what did you call it? Um Jules, all the pictures and all those fake pictures. The Photoshop, oh, yeah. yeah. That's the word. Yeah, Photoshop, yeah. Photoshop, yeah. Everything, yeah. like, yeah, those, those, yeah. Can, I've seen this. There's these can, other ones on in him in the can, airport. You can enjoy that uh, as of now. Rickson already looks very good. You can see him in that midfield already looking very good. So for me, let's see how it goes, man. Jules, again, give another shout out to your channel, man. Thank you. I appreciate you coming on at 12 o'clock, man. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Um, anyways, I have to make one more video from to finish to complete my deadline day videos. I've made one already. I think I'm gonna make two more to make it to make you know my channel look good. Especially, I concentrate a lot of Arsenal on Arsenal transfer news, and well, it's the last day. It's probably one of the best days for me to make my videos. So I'm gonna try and get them done. Um, and let's hope we get party while I make those videos because by the time I finish those videos, it'll be the end. Of the of the transfer news uh, of the transfer window. Awesome, man! Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so let's wait and see who else comes in. I'll, you know, I'm not going for a long time. I'll be back in one hour with another guest. So it's work. We care more about Arsenal than Frankie. So I'll be back in one yeah. hour with another stream, another video I won't coming come back, in. Like, I'm sorry. No problem. No problem. Thank you, man, for coming. I'll be back again in the next like um twenty 
minutes with another video in one hour with the video for Thomas Party. So as of now, Thomas Party is undergoing his medical in Spain. It looks like we're going to get this deal done. So, so happy. As of now, thank you everyone who watched. I really appreciate you. Let me give you guys a shout out by there. I really appreciate it because there are so many other channels you can watch. So I really appreciate everyone who comes on. Uh, Lewis, Rickson, Balanchandran, Contran, Leslie, Lion King, Alexander Coffee, Ben, Why Not Sentiment. Thanks for being here for all the streams. Babu O, um, Chiedu, Mohammed, um, Major, Sinan, Is Ganas. Wow, there are so many people today. Justice, um, Arsenal Alex, of course, you, Jules, um, Guna, Lona, and everyone else who's been watching. I'll be back again after an hour. Thanks for watching. Keep staying safe, and I'll catch up with you guys later.